What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this nice sunny warm Tuesday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this particular story right here that happened in Miami-Dade County. I think it was over the weekend or what have you. And uh, yeah, a 12 year old uh, boy was actually raped and shot in the face. Okay, and left for dead. This is a video right here that um, explains basically what happened to him and then we're going to get into the commentary now to the story that shocked all of south florida a 12 year old boy raped and shot in miami dade yeah and the dangerous criminal is still out there tonight and we want to warn you that some of the images you're about to see may be hard to watch tonight we're learning the boy snuck out of his house to hang out with friends and never told his parents he's still recovering in the hospital nbc 6s laura rodriguez joins us live now with the new information this evening laura well, this crime is just sickening, and police tell us that the suspect had the child locks on so this boy could not escape. A bullet would have gone a millimeter in either direction, and this boy would have lost his life right there on that scene. Covered in blood and in pain, this 12-year-old boy survived to tell police his terrifying story. According to detectives, the child snuck out of his house to meet with friends. On his walk back home around 2 to 3 a.m. Saturday, he was approached by the suspect. The 12-year-old boy put pillows in his on his bed, covered him up with the, with, with the bed sheet to make it seem like there's a body sleeping there in the event the parents were to check, were to check, up on, on, check into his room. The victim told police the man forced him into his car and then sexually assaulted him at an empty lot near Northwest 45th Street and 31st Avenue. The suspect shot the boy in the face and pushed him out of the car. He, his, he had lost his sight and he was using his touch to find his way around trying to seek help. Johnny responded to his cry for help and led him to Foodland Market. I only saw him. He was screaming, help somebody help me, please, please. So I bring him to the store where they could call the police for him. Police are now hoping the community will come together to identify the suspect. The only description the, the victim was able to provide us at this point is the fact that he's a Hispanic male, 30 to 40 years of age, long curly hair. Police say this man is brazen. They do not want any other children in danger. If you know anything at all about this case, if you recognize something suspicious, if you live in the area and happen to have cameras, police need to hear from you and you can always remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live in Doral outside police headquarters, I'm Laura Rodriguez, NBC6 News. Well, the community came together and they caught the motherfucker who did this sick shit. You know, and that is a good thing. Um, message to uh, the kids out there, you know, the preteens, uh, the teenagers, all of you. Don't be disobedient to your parents. Don't be sneaking out of the house. Because see, when you do things like this, you open the door for bad things to come your way and happen to you. Just like it did with this young fella right here. It's a damn shame that we have. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to call this, this person a man. I'm not going to even embarrass an animal by calling him an animal, but just low kernel forms of life that's dwelling in our communities across this entire country that would do things like this to a child, to a child, <clears throat> not only to a child, but even to an adult. See? If we were actually following the ways of the Most High that he set before us, we wouldn't have this kind of thing because see, we were put to death. Low-life predators like this that would dare harm our women, our children, and even men. You know, let's get into the story right here. It says, man charged in weekend assault shooting of 12-year-old boy in Miami Dade. Police say the boy snuck out of his house and was heading back home when the incident happened, all right? Um, it goes on to say here, now this is a video of them catching the bastard, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna read the story first, okay? 
Exclusive video shows officers taking a man into custody and a large Miami-Dade police presence Monday night in Overtown in connection, well, in connected to the abduction, sexual assault, and shooting of a 12-year-old boy over the weekend. Police arrested 43-year-old Alex Sebastian and charged him with several counts including sexual battery with a deadly weapon, kidnapping, and attempted murder. He was booked into Miami-Dade jail earlier Tuesday morning. All right. Um, the incident happened around 2.30 a.m. Saturday as the boy was walking in an area of Northwest 43rd Terrence and 30th Avenue when he was approached by a man in a black four-door sedan, Miami-Dade police uh, official said. Uh, the man forced the boy inside the vehicle and drove him to an empty lot in the area of Northwest 45th Street and 31st Avenue where he was sexually assaulted in the back seat of the car. At a news conference Monday, Miami-Dade police spokesman uh, Alvaro uh, Zabaleta said the child locks had been uh, activated on, in, you know, on the car, which prevented the boy from getting out. So, you know, uh, obviously this ain't the first time this piece of shit done this, man. Zabaleta said the boy eventually fought the man off. Then the boy, excuse me, then the man shot him in the face and pushed him out of the car. The boy couldn't see, but was found wandering by a good Samaritan on a bicycle who led him to a nearby business where they called 911. Surveillance footage, as we watched in the video, surveillance footage from the business showed the boy covered in blood and collapsing to the ground before police officers uh, arrived. Um, the boy says he couldn't see at the time. He had lost his sight and he was using his touch to find his way around trying to seek help, Zabaleta said. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue respond, uh, responded to the scene and transported the boy to Jackson Memorial Hospital, Riders Trauma Center, in critical condition. Condition, you know, and this is the piece of shit who did this. It was allegedly, allegedly did it, you know. Uh, mm. I think he did it, you know, because I saw another story <clears throat> with basically DNA was linked, you know, that they got off of the boy to this piece of shit right here. And like I said, more than likely, this is not his first go around to the point to where he's done this to, you know, some somebody else in the community, man. You know? In conclusion here, it says, Zabaleta said the boy was stable and recovering Monday, but said if the bullet would have gone a millimeter in either direction, the boy could have lost his life. He still has a long way ahead as far as the, his recovery is concerned, Zabaleta said. It's devastating to know that this individual, not only did he have to live the traumatic incident of being sexually assaulted, but then at the same time being shot in the face. Damn. Zabaleta also said the boy has snuck out of the his house to visit friends without telling his parents and had left pillows on his bed in case his parents checked up on him. Hmm. He was on his way back home from his friend's house when he was approached by the suspect, Zabaleta said. Yeah, uh, uh, well, you know, it's a shame that it happened, that this happened to this young man, this young fella, you know. So like I said, it's best not to do things like this. You know what I mean? Stay home, stay indoors, because you got some sick, low-life pieces of shit like this roaming in your community. You see. And uh, it's too bad that we uh, rely on uh, police departments to do what we're supposed to be doing, to tell you the truth, because 
if we know people that's in our community that's doing things like this, this to our children, well, it's our place to make sure that they don't ever hurt anybody else or our children ever again. You know, and that's what it all boils down to. All right. Let's check out this video when they caught the bastard. We have some breaking news this morning and can now confirm that this man has been taken into custody at the Miami-Dade jail overnight and is a suspect in a brutal crime against a 12-year-old child. That man is connected to the sexual assault and shooting of a 12-year-old boy over the weekend. For the very latest, we want to get out live to NBC6 reporter Julie Leonardi, who is live at the jail with these exclusive details. Big development here from Overnight Julie. Yeah, Constance and Chris, absolutely good morning, you too. This just happened moments ago. That man was actually brought in to this jail behind me moments ago here in Miami-Dade. And we're talking about 43-year-old Alex Santiestaban. He has been charged with sexual battery with a deadly weapon causing serious injury, kidnapping, and attempted felony murder. And as I just said, he was arrested earlier this morning and brought here to the jail in Miami-Dade. This is that video we shot moments ago ago showing that suspect being brought into this jail earlier this morning. Now this is another piece of video that you'll only see here on NBC6. This is that same man that we told you about that was arrested and charged in this case, that tall man with curly hair, Alex Santi Esteban. He was being taken into police custody near Northwest 12th Street and Northwest 3rd Avenue. That was captured last night. Now we now know this is that same suspect who has just been arrested and charged in this this case you can also see on the scene there a black his black four-door uh, car being towed away as well now investigators they say a 12 year old boy was taken sexually assaulted in a car and then shot police in Miami Day they did give us more information about this case yesterday before this man was arrested they say the boy snuck out of his house and walked nearly two and a half miles to see his friends now on his way back around 3 a.m. Saturday morning near 30th Avenue and Northwest 43rd Terrace that man was uh, forced that child into the car, activated the child locks, then drove him a few blocks away where police say he sexually assaulted the boy and then shot him. That bullet would have gone a millimeter in either direction and this boy would have lost his life. Now again, that initial surveillance video that we first showed you, that was from a nearby convenience store that shows that boy just covered in blood, collapsing on the ground. A good Samaritan actually led that boy to the store where folks there were calling 911, getting that boy the help he needed. Uh, the police yesterday, they were passing out flyers. They were working this case. Of course, they have now uh, made an arrest. They also said because of those uh, gunshot wounds, that boy actually lost his sight. He was using touch to navigate around early that morning to find help. Luckily, he eventually did find that Good Samaritan that did help him. Now, once again, that man, 43-year-old Alex Santi Esteban, has been arrested. He's been charged in this case with several counts that I mentioned earlier this morning. Now, later on today, we will work to get more information about this case from police. But for now, we're live here in Miami, Dade. Julie Leonardi, NBC6 News. Well, like I said, it's a good thing that the community came together and, uh, you know, identified this piece of shit and put him behind bars, but that's not good enough because if they're going to, you know, slap him on the wrist, I don't know, get five to 10 years or something like that and then let him back out, guess what he's going to do again? Guess what he's going to do again? The fucker going to do the same thing that he did to this young man, this, this, this 12 year old fella. He's going to do the same thing. See? So, basically, you know, like I said, if we did things the way the Most High would have us do things, we wouldn't have these kind of problems in our communities. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, your views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.